Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. One of my grandfathers used to say that politics is one of the dirtiest uh, occupations on planet Earth. And in order to succeed over there, you really don't have to have character. And he was talking about a democratic uh, political system, not about a dictatorship or anything like that. Not that he supported the dictatorship or tyranny, but uh, he, uh, he was able to see through uh, the democratic system. And uh, I will use one example here of a politician who has no scruples, who has no really no uh, shame. And that is uh, Pence, Mike Pence, the former, I was about to say prime minister, vice president of the United States of America under President Donald Trump. I think he did an awful job. I think he did a no job at all. He was just like a guy in the shadow waiting to stab the president. That's how he always appeared to me. He gave me as some uh, friends of mine used to say, give me a bad vibe. I know. I know. So a bad vibe. That's uh, that uh, what Pence gave me. Now Pence, instead of just running away, hiding somewhere in a deep forest or in a cave or under a little rock where he crawled under, you know, a while ago, uh, after the shameful, shameful uh, vice presidency, he comes back and he <laughs> wants to um, run for. The president of the United States of America in 2024. No surprise here. That I think for me reinforces what my grandfather said. This uh, little field of activity is really for certain kind of people. So let's see what's going on here. ABC News. Mike Pence announcing 2024 presidential bid next week in Iowa. Source. Now this guy I can guess who will, in United States, you say, uh, will uh, donate for his campaign. In other countries, they call it bribe. Uh, here they call it campaign donation. I can all already guess who's going to give him money. He's going to be a loser. He's not going to win anything. He's not going to have, I suspect, 3%, 1% of the vote Republicans in the in the primaries. I don't think he's going to have more than I don't know, maybe between three and one, not quite zero, but he's going to have a lot of money donated by the same guys who had him in their pocket, how he got over there under Trump and then what he did during Trump and what he did after Trump. I'm pretty sure he has a family and they're all proud of their uh, daddy and granddaddy and uncle and husband and all that, which is fine because they're on the same boat with this guy. What are they, gonna, what are they supposed to say? He's not, they're not going to say that, obviously. Obviously, he created, everybody else is dragged after him. So he is the big boss of the family. So why would they consider him in any uh, you know different way than being the big uh, winner of them all? So anyway, this is Pence. Let me read a little bit. So uh, uh, sounds that I'm kind of unf uh, I'm kind of fair, which I don't really care about this guy. To be fair, former Vice President Mike Pence will announce next week that he's running for president, giving a kickoff speech in Iowa and releasing a campaign video on June 7 ahead of a town hall with CNN later that day in Des Moines. Iowa, a source familiar confirms to ABC News. Well, let me show you how that uh, campaign video looks like. Uh, that would look like this. That would be like um, 15th of March, 44, before Common Era, Rome, and there would be Trump. And Trump would walk towards the Senate building. And in that case, we'll walk towards the Senate in his toga, you know. And while he walks in, he's going to be greeted by uh, his uh, vice president, Brutus, I mean, um, Pence. And uh, Pence will start um, stabbing him in the groin, like Brutus did to Caesar. I think that would be a 
perfect representation of Mr. Pence's uh, campaign. What was that video? What campaign video? The stabbing of Trump and his supporters because Pence was like a, you know, but anyway, he got his own people into Trump, Trump's uh, camp, which I understand that little uh, political dirty move. But nevertheless, he was one of the Oh, here you get. Remember that what happens on March 15th, 44 BCE in a Senate chamber in Rome by the senators. But I just added Mr. Um, Brutus, I mean, Mr. Oh, my bad, Pence as being uh, playing the role of Brutus. And what did Caesar do when he got stabbed? You too, my friend? Yes, me too. <laughs> so here you have him. Brutus wants to get elected. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.